Rarely does it happen that a weapon platform is found to be ineffective against the exact systems it is designed to counter. This is what happened with a Russian platform. A Ukrainian UAV took out a modern Russian RLK MCA ROSK-1 complex specially developed to counter enemy drones. From the footage, we can see munitions being dropped right on its electronic control and radio monitoring subsystems. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the failure of the ROSK-1 complex against Ukrainian UAV is a poor advertisement for Russian weapon. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It is risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. As per topwar.ru, the radar complex is developed by the Lianozovo Electromechanical Plant top LEMZ, from the Almaz Anti-VKO concern. Work began in 2016. The goal of the project was to create a radar complex capable of detecting and tracking objects with extremely low RCS, as well as distinguishing UAV targets against the background of the Earth or various objects and distinguishing them from birds. It was also required to provide suppression or neutralization of the detected target. The platform seats on a self-propelled vehicle on a three-axle chassis with a container body. Structurally, the complex is divided into a control module with a remote control panel, a radar module, an optoelectronic module, a direction finding module for radio signal sources and a countermeasure module. It also provides for its own power supply, communication facilities, etc. The main element of the complex is a three coordinate survey radar module operating in the X band, wavelength 3 centimeters. The mirror antenna is installed under the radio transparent dome and, together with it, can rise above the container roof. The radar provides all-round visibility at elevation angles from 0 degrees to 30 degrees. The minimum detection range is 300 meters. In parallel with the radar, the search for targets is carried out by the direction finding module of radio signal sources. Its task is to identify the control and communication channels of the UAV as well as to determine the location of the vehicle and its operator. The complex also includes a thermal imaging camera that receives target designation from radio equipment and is capable of tracking a target. Topwar.ru adds that the radar of the complex is capable of detecting Mavic or Phantom drones at ranges of around 6 kilometers or 3.7 miles. For larger targets, the detection range exceeds 15 kilometers or 9.3 miles. Data on the air situation and small size targets can also be issued to the Air Defense Command Post or to other users. Several complexes can be networked. The complex is thought to be able to counter the UAV by jamming its communication capabilities. It's clear that the system is designed from the ground up to meet the specific counter UAV requirements. On paper, it seems to have the components, but as with many Russian systems, it didn't work as it should when encountering real combat. This will be worrying for the Kremlin and President Putin not only when it comes to the Ukraine front, but for its long-term impact. Russia accounts for nearly 19% of worldwide weapons shipments. However, according to the latest Stockholm International Peace Research Institute CIPRI, report titled Trends in International Arms Transfers, Russian arms exports fell by 26% between 2012 and 2016, followed by a steep fall in its global share from 24% to 19% between 2017 and 2021. This kind of failure will surely make prospective buyers doubt the credibility of Russian platforms. 
Recently, it came to light that three countries, Egypt, Indonesia, and Algeria, have rejected one of Russia's most frontline fighter jets, Su-35. To know more about that, check the video on the above card. It remains to be seen how Russia manages the worsening situation going forward. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.